to this seven Ask Your Hotel Techie video. I'm Alicia from Hotel Spider and I'm here to share our know-how about hotel technology with you in video format. Feel free to ask your own questions. Let me know what you think, where you agree or disagree. Blockchain is one of these buzzwords we've been hearing all around in the news, on social media and at conferences. I would like to look at some of the basic concepts and see how this might apply to the hotel industry. It's a very new and very fascinating technology and I do think it has the potential in the future to change how hotels are being distributed. Blockchain is a technology that decentralizes data storage. So instead of having the information in one place on a hard drive on one server, you spread it over a network of computers. This creates a system that cannot be manipulated and in turn creates trust because no one individual can make any changes. So instead of having data in one place, you have it spread over a network of systems. Here's an explanation I heard recently that I really liked. In accounting, you use a ledger to keep track of money coming in and of an account and money going out. So the normal mode is that one person sits in his room, has his ledger, writes down what comes in and what goes out. So let's say he wants to change something in the future, he could go back, make a modification, nobody would know. When it comes to blockchain, imagine that you have a big room of a bunch of people in the same room, and instead of everybody writing for themselves, somebody yells out a change, and everybody in their version of the ledger write down the same change. So instead of one person writing it down a transaction, let's say 100 from Alicia's account to Marco's account, all collectively will write down the same transaction, 100 from Alicia to Marco. If at any given point there is a discrepancy, so for example my ledger and your ledger doesn't have the same information, the system will not validate a transaction. For example, if I just shout out 2,000 from my account to Marco's account, but you only have 1,000 registered on my account, the transaction is not possible and will be rejected. And their blockchain is very democratic. Basically, if over 50% of the network accepts a change in a transaction, it will be validated. This democratic notion, therefore, is at the center of the technology. Whenever I hear of a company launching their private blockchain, I really don't understand the point. They're just, instead of storing the data on one server, they're using multiple servers that work in a network. Or to come back to our example from before, instead of having one person writing the information down in a ledger, they have a hundred people writing down the same information. But if they're all working for the same company, sitting in the same place, then what's really the point? They can just go back, get 50% of them to make the same change, and we haven't gained anything. One aspect that makes this technology blockchain so interesting is it eliminates the need for a man in the middle. The first and one of the widest spread applications of blockchain today is the cryptocurrency Bitcoin. Bitcoin really started in the middle of the financial crisis in 2008, where trust in big institutions and banks was at its lowest. This technology allowed for a transaction without the need for a bank to validate it. So it becomes a peer-to-peer -peer transaction and the inherent nature of the technology provides the trust that otherwise might not exist between two people living in opposite parts of the world. In the hospitality industry, we have a similar situation with the OTAs being the trusted third party. Next to the marketing they do, they also offer a secure platform for transactions. So potentially a central reservation system based on blockchain technology that would allow for secure peer-to-peer -peer transactions between the hotel and the guest could change how hotel distribution works in the future. In my opinion, one of the biggest inhibitors of innovation in this hotel distribution landscape today is the lack of access to hotel inventory and prices for startups. Any platform that wants to sell hotel rooms in a new or innovative way has to either 
invest a lot of time and effort to get direct contract with the hotel partners or they can go to the OTAs but there they pay for the same inventory a very high price. Let's imagine a platform where the hotelier has 100% control over his inventory prices and restrictions where he can engage and transact directly with the guest and where he saves money as it is a direct booking. I can imagine that hoteliers would be willing to give their inventory to this platform. On the other hand, you have startups with a big pool of hotel inventory without making contracts with each individual property. I think that would open up a lot of possibilities to innovate in the guest experience, invest in customer facing applications, to sell hotel rooms in a better way. The biggest issue I see with the hotel application for blockchain technology is speed. As you have to multiply each transaction hundreds and thousand folds, this takes a lot of time and also computing capacity. There is one very interesting project out there that I'm aware of. It's a non-for-profit organization called Winding Tree. I'll put a link to their website in the show notes. They are currently working on an open source CRS system based on the blockchain technology for the travel industry. From what I understood, they don't really have an application relevant for independent hotels yet, but I'm very curious to see what they're going to do in the future. I hope I was able to simplify some of the concepts around blockchain and that I haven't confused you more. If I did, please let me know. Also, if you have another opinion or if you're aware of other projects using blockchain in the travel space, reach out and let me know. I would be very curious to hear and learn about them. Like, share and subscribe to these videos. This is Ask Your Hotel Techie. Thank you very much for your attention and stay tuned for the next videos.